Um, so I'm now taking over for uh, worldwide product marketing for desktops, embedded products, server, and notebooks. And so taking us to um, hopefully uh, more improved marketing, more improved better product marketing direction, um, and helping both our OEMs in uh, selling activities and the right solutions for our OEMs and system builder channels, as well as appropriate end user messaging to help drive sell-in and sell-through of AMD products. Right. With all the recent difficult changes at AMD, presumably you feel that this remains a good time to be assuming such responsibilities. Why would this be? I I'm excited, right? It's a great personal opportunity and a growth opportunity for me. But at the same time, seeing where we are with the roadmaps, what we've been able to do and focus and execute just recently, and taking that focus and execution forward for the back half of this year and into 09, it's a great opportunity and great challenge. Look, if it, if it was easy, who would want it, right? <laughs> so turning to AMD Puma. Yes. Please would you give us a view from the higher plateaus of AMD as to why Puma is the right product for your target customers. Sure and what truly convincing USPs that it has to offer. Sure. So certainly notebooks are where it's at, right? I mean, when you look at the client space, we all see the growth factors between uh, notebook and desktops. So being able to offer a more compelling solution in the notebook space is a key objective for AMD. And Puma is the first iteration of that focus. Um, and I think a great next generation platform for us for a couple of reasons. One, the visual quality. Right, more and more consumers are demanding HD, they're demanding better graphically rich uh, systems and, and PC entertainment uh, devices. And there's no reason why the notebook can't be there along with the PDA, the MP3 player, uh, and the TV for that. And so thanks to uh, the, the ability for us to offer a compelling platform, an all AMD platform, with Puma we're really able to offer those uh, visually rich graphics for people that want to use digital media, that want to play movies, want to rip DVDs and CDs, all the way up to those who really want to do some hardcore gaming as well. On a scale of um, 1 to 10 from a business perspective, how important do you feel that successful adoption of Puma by your target end user customers is to AMD? And do you feel that AMD Puma might be better named AMD Phoenix? And if it were, do you believe that it's the product to raise AMD from the ashes? I certainly think it's the product to get us um, probably uh, more on the map in terms of notebooks. And it's also the product that really brings to life the ability that, uh, the capability that we have uh, owning the key components of the platform and being able to drive those to, for a balanced approach, right? The right amount of CPU versus GPU, chipset, Southbridge features, those type of things. Um, so it's, it's absolutely uh, a 10 for us in terms of our, our desire to be successful with this, pro with this product. Well, you have an interesting background in that you came to AMD from a, a senior position at Dell. Yes. And whilst my understanding is that you're not specifically responsible for AMD sales business with Dell. Right. Um, but in your knowing Dell so well, how do you think Dell is seeing AMD Puma? And do you know whether Dell will have AMD Puma SKUs at launch? Uh, they will. Puma? Yeah. They will, absolutely. And um, do you think that, uh, it, that, that with Puma, that you've, you've got a, a, an awful lot of design wins, more yes. design wins than I've seen AMD? Right, uh, uh, almost twice as many as we had from the last generation. Right. And uh, so, how prevalent through um, Dell's um, range of notebooks? And interestingly, would, would there, do you know whether there'll be any business notebooks wi which will be Puma based? Within their, within their range. Right, so um, we'll, we will have uh, some SKUs mm -hmm. uh, from Dell, but I'm not going to pre-announce the uh, notebooks that they're going to have. Okay. It's, uh, it's certainly up to our customers to launch and, and we don't want to take their thunder. Okay. Uh, when a new AMD product is launched, there are obvious implications to the sales of previous generations of AMD products. Do you think that the promotion of um, a product like AMD Puma should definitely preside over the sales considerations to the existing AMD Turion based products already in the channel? I think it'll depend on the end user. Certainly this, um, the Puma platform is, is definitely imp an improved over our Kite Refresh mm -hmm. platforms, again with all of the great features that we already spoke about. Um, but it's really going to be about what the end user wants. So from if there's a value segment or a value play for that end user, mm -hmm. then certainly the notebooks that are already in the channel are absolutely applicable. 
Um, and then, of course, if somebody wants something new with the added features, it's their choice. And when you've got both sitting on shelf, mm. right, and it's really about the value and the price performance aspect of that, of what somebody wants to go in. And also, when we think about when people buy in retail, what's the form factor, too? More than simply other things. It's, is there a form factor with a kite refresh that somebody's attracted to in a price point? Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it's about the end user. You'll always have that time in a cycle where you've got both coming before think, you've got 100% of one. I think my, my question is more directed to you as a, as a very senior person within, within this organization in that um, Hexus is exposed to a lot of elements within uh, within a company like AMD. Right. And at times we see um, uh, almost a degree of conflict between some divisions in, in truth. And um, I, so I might see frustrations, let's say, with those who are responsible for actually getting the numbers moving um, at the front end. Yep. Um, and those people whose job it is to really um, kick a, a new product, you know, in, into the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm. So what I was trying to establish was whether um, which which of these you see as the priority. Sure. And and so let me ask. Let me answer it this way. I think that kind of conflict. Um, first of all, conflict's not necessarily a bad thing, mm. right? Um, but I think that particular type of conflict, sell in versus sell out, what you've already got in the channel, we see that much more on the desktop side, mm. um, simply because of the nature of still having white boxes and system builders, okay. where in, in the notebook space it's much more ODM driven, less of a channel opportunity, if you will, that pure channel, distribution channel like there is in desktop. Okay. So in the desktop market, we are always very sensitive of when we bring products out that what, what else is already inventoried in the channel. There's a sensitivity there that we do play into and, uh, and we try and reach the best um, optimum combination of what's going to happen to get the new stuff out and make sure that you're able to appropriately get through the, um, the older type of inventory. It's not something we see quite as much on the notebook side other than maybe in the, there's one cycle where you might have a couple of different types of notebook platforms out there. But I think that's what you mean and you, we see that much more in the desktop space. Okay, well, here's a bit of a question you might have to think about, but is, is there anything which you'd like to communicate or reassure Hexus TV viewers, and by implication, AMD's customers, right. um, about the future of AMD and how you might influence that? I think the word is focus, and, and that's what I'd like people to, to walk away from, is AMD's going to get focused, uh, get more focused, execute, execute well on a, on a, on a road map, and on a set of deliverables uh, into both our channel as well as into our customers. But focus is the word I'd like them to walk away from because that's something that I know I, I can bring and others at AMD to help us, again, better execute. Okay, well, thank you for talking so frankly to Hexus TV, Leslie. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Leslie Sobin, Director of Worldwide Product Marketing for AMD. You're watching Hexus TV.